Hello, my name is Abe and welcome back to Bellatra. I'm gonna keep playing Anaglyph Black Stake because it's fun. I'm having a great time with these double tags and the occasional free double tag. Hmm. Fight first, then we'll go for the free shop after. Okay, that's my plan. Ooh, ooh, nine, ten, jack, qu okay, never mind. Uh, we'll go for the easy access flush. Having a good time in Bellatro. Hoping that we can have another winning run and get to the next stake difficulty. I'll take a Bakun pack. Plus 15 molt when no discards are remaining or clubs give you plus three when scored. I tell you what, which of these is better? I think Mystic Summit might be better because we can probably win in a single flush at the end and not worry about clubs are debuffed. It also opens us up to the possibility of building, well, I mean, we could do this, building into a, uh, a heart build, heartstone, blueprint, etc., etc., etc. All right. So, what we're going to do is discard and then play a flush, and it's going to get plus 15 molt. Now, it would have had plus 15 molt with the gluttonous joker, but it's weird to me that they made it. Instead of plus four molts, it's plus three molts, because now it is, you know, similar to Mystic Summit. They both give 15. I'm not a big fan of what I'm seeing here. Doesn't score, doesn't score. Star Strength, Hangman, Devil Death. Dump the twos. Dun 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 Give me a seven of spades that is gold. And a free reroll. Playing gold cards earn four dollars when scored. Eternal. Okay, let's not take that. I will take the scholar just for potential superposition play. Wait a minute, I just got rid of my twos. Mm, good point. Alright, well we can still high card it. <laughs> I only thought about that just now. Yeah, removing twos, maybe not the best idea in the world. Oh, wait, look at this. We got a freaking full house. That will score us out, so we should just discard a few times. Queen, 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 nine, nine. Mystic Summit being a conditional 15 molt is easy to kick out. We, um... We will. You know, right now we're getting 1,600 point hands. This will go out soon, probably. But for the early game, it's nice just to keep us going. Satellite or business card. I don't want the eternal money maker. We'll take a satellite and then start buying some planets. There you go. I do want Planet Merchant now, but can't afford it. Clever Joker, Holographic Eternal. 80 chips on a two pair. Not discovered times two if you have a club and another suit. Can't afford it. Knight the Dragon says, I am a Mystic Summit needs a buff 15. Molt is way too small. Tell me what you really feel. Tell me, uh, tell me about Jimbo, plus four multiplier. Man, that, that deserves a buff too, right? Should really give you plus four molt for every one discard, like uh, Kanio, right? It's not Kanio, I forget his name. Look, Mystic Summit's fine. It doesn't, not every Joker has to have equal power ranking. Plus 15 molt is very good early. You can win in one hand by just playing a flush. Chaos the Clown, one free reroll. Not really that important, especially when you get $1 rerolls with a couple of vouchers. He's not very strong. Mystic Summit's totally fine. 15 flat molt for basically nothing, it's not a problem. I really like it early because in the early game, uh, equal numbers, but make it a straight if we go for the spades. In the early game, we are using a lot of discards looking for a hand to play. Now, I would really love to get um, a spade. Thank you. Ace, queen, king, 
Ace, King, Queen, Jack, 10. Look at that, it's a straight. We're gonna get uh, Scholar and Superposition active. Nice. It's not free because it has a condition on it. Yeah, well, whatever, it doesn't matter. <laughs> it's good enough. Speaking of good enough, I think Blue Joker's fine. We're gonna buy this. It's gonna give us money. We are gonna we are gonna buy Blue Joker. I think we dump Chaos. And then we buy the Spectral Pack. Add a blue seal to a card in your hand. Negative to a Joker, minus one hand size. I don't care about these Jokers. We'll take a blue seal on a Queen of, oh, actually, hold on. We cut some clubs, got a couple of diamonds. We turn them all into spades, all right. Let's do it like this. Now I want that voucher, can't afford it. Face cards are drawn face down. Rank, suit. So that's a flush with an ace high. Oh, ace two, three, four, five. <laughs> okay, well we can get a another tarot card, so we should get another tarot card. Ace, two, three, four, five. Ace, two, three, four, five. And it's actually a pretty good one. I want my one dollar, I haven't finished the round yet. I haven't clicked the button. I haven't clicked the button, satellite. Oh hey, everyone's, uh, most hated voucher right there. There aren't many there aren't any common free molt jokers though that are that high asks nine. Yeah, I mean the misprint is random, anywhere from like one to twenty-one. Twenty-three maybe, I don't know. And uh Jimbo Joker is the base joker is plus four, fifteen on no discards again. I think it's fine. Choose one. Eleven dollars or seven dollars. kind of hoping that it would give me a planet I hadn't had before to buff the satellite. That's fine. There's not very many diamonds left, is there? We drew two of them. <laughs> All right, I will play. Well, I won't play a flush, we don't care. Now we'll play a flush. So we have a 4,000 base score. We need more scoring jokers, man. Constellation works. Okay, I'm gonna dump. It gives a molt multiplier. I'm dumping, I'm dumping super position. I don't think it's that good. Should have bought this first. I always make that mistake. The tribe times two molt rare eternal. It's not really what I'm looking for. Take an arcana pack. Elephant death. Death. You know what? Um, I do like this because we don't have two spades. We can buff the hearts and then convert either a diamond or a club. Oh, club. Next round. We want to buy as many planets as possible. Very pretty cards. <laughs> we have no diamonds in the deck. We keep drawing them early. Is there a nine of diamonds? There is. All right, I'm going to search for it then. Is there a four, five, and an ace of diamonds? There is. Ah, eh, whatever. This should still be like a uh, 
4,000 scoring hand, so. Oh, I got rid of the superposition anyways, I'm dumb. 3887. Okay. At least we know where we stand. Full house three of a kind pair. This is another satellite upgrade. We might have to play multiple hands, but if we do, we at least still get the base value of Blue Joker along with Mystic Summit. A bit anti-synergistical, but that's fine. Suit, rank. Suit. This is a spade. There's a lot of spades in the deck. It's a heart? Yeah, dummy, because clubs and spades have hearts in between them. <laughs> well, if it's a if it's a heart, then we can just play this flush with an ace in it. I like seeing that, uh, that Molt 7. 6,000 point hand with a Molt 7 in Constellation and Scholar. Eternal Vegabond? Rather not. Hieroglyph, we can... We can take now, or we can take it later. We're getting money from satellite. I'm just gonna take it now. And we'll still have $10. Satellite's giving us eight per round. That's not too bad. Yeah, it goes from 7,000 to 24,000 hand. I like it. Because I have the seven. Although we don't need the seven. We can go for, what, a straight flush? Who cares? It doesn't matter. Discard. You can go for the hearts. Boom, 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 boom. Discard zero. Chicken Zaned, welcome. My wallet needs a buff. 15 bucks is way too small. <laughs> I have, I have had disgusting levels of cash in Bellatro. I have had, like, I, I, I wish that my wallet was this game sometimes, with how much money I had in Bellatro. Would you consider buying a job voucher? Spades, bonus, lucky planet cards. Sometimes lately I've been focusing on making one suit. We can make two suits. We can make spades and hearts and then go from there. So if we can dump clubs and diamonds, turn them into spades, I think I'm happy with that. We could also make these hearts lucky. Which is also fun. I'm going for the spades. Two, level one, level three, level two, level three. There you go, that's uh, permanent money out of satellite. How many? I, ha I have all the vouchers? Since when? I never had illusion. Um, what are the planet cards? There's 12. Planet X series and Eris are the ones that we don't have unlocked on our satellite dish because we don't have the ability to play those hands at all. Makes sense. Well, I know what I'm doing here. Thank you. I really do not want to discard the queen. Blue Seal creates a planet card for the final played poker hand of round if held in hands. We should get a flush out of this. We can keep using these Jupiters to buff up our flushes. World card, green joker. Man, it's just terrible. Magician, hermit, diamonds. I mean, I do like some lucky cards. Four of a kind, three of a kind, straight flush. 
think of four of a kind. It scales roughly similarly to straight, doesn't it? Why does straight scale so well? Is it to maybe incentivize people playing straights more because it's hard to play straights? Maybe. That's exactly what I wanted. Eight, eight, nine, ten, ten, seven. We should we should have discarded more looking for the gold card. There it is. But this is still a flush. Yeah, straight now scales faster than flush with the update. And I guess the reason is to incentivize you trying to play it more because it's really hard. <laughs> Straights are not good hands. I hope I bought the previous voucher. 12 bucks or 20 bucks or spades. I have to go hermit. 20 bucks is too good to pass up, but I really wanted to make those three clubs into spades. Pair, straight, two pair, full house, four of a kind. You see, I'm not just focusing on flushes, now I'm starting to build up like a four of a kind as maybe like a later game hand. What happens if you reroll five times? Would it do anything? Um, we don't really want hearts right now. Seven, eight, Nine, ten jack, we get a straight flush level two? No, thank you. We're gonna discard as much as we can and look for... Perfect. Constellation's getting, getting better. And with the blue seal, we're able to level up the constellation ideally once per hand, but we need a, more blue seals, hopefully. <laughs> Eternal Obelisk. Yeah, I'll buy that. Yeah, let me get right on it. Oh, that's a good one. Buy it, but don't use it. So we want to save, 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 dump, dump. Perfect! Our flush is getting pretty highly leveled too. We're at 17,000 point hands right now. I don't want to use the fool on Jupiter. I want to use the fool on like, I don't know, something else. <laughs> I don't know, man. Something else, man. Steel is very tempting. But I also like just maybe purging two of these. Getting another one. card. We don't care about that. I'll just remove these. Actually, I'm gonna still have to do something here. Glass card, gold card, steel card. Ah! King Max! 86, thank you for the Twitch Prime sub. Thank you very much. Gaga, and welcome to the stream. Gaga! surprised me. <laughs> I was like, what? Who's that? Strength Devil. I'm gonna gold another card. I think I don't value that as, as much as I should. So there's the banana, and we could get rid of Mystic Summit for the banana so that the banana goes away. Viable, valuable, acceptable. Do we need Scholar? Not necessarily. I think we dump Scholar. I want the Molts so that we can buff it with the satellites. 
Is this game good? This game is very good. I've been playing a lot of it. It's casual, but not in a bad way. I don't mean this as like baby's game. It's simple, but the simple mechanics are just a front for a complex synergistical experience of building a run around your jokers and trying to score high. I've been really loving this game. Thank you. I'm just gonna play it. Don't you place banana before the constellation? I should. <laughs> I forgot, but I'm, I should. Check seven, eight, nine, ten. It's gonna play the high card. Yeah, that got us there. And we're, we're gonna get a Pluto because of the blue seal, but that's fine. And he says, banana. It's the darkest dungeon to baby boss. Banana. Would you like a banana? So we Joker, we had it on a challenge run. It gives you chips for every two. We only have two twos. If you can build your run around twos, this guy can give you a lot of chips. But you could also do that just by having a thousand bucks in the bowl. We've done that before. Lucky cards. I can get some lucky cards going on. We Joker's amazing. It is pretty good, isn't it? I've had a good, have I had a good We Joker run? I can, run I can't remember. You know what, I shouldn't have done that. I should have waited until we found another blue seal and then steal, stolen that one. But this is fine. Better than blue Joker. I'm not playing four card, I'm not playing twos. I'm also not playing square Joker hands, but that's not what you said. And now we run into the problem of the magic trick voucher is just ruining the shops a little bit here. I really hate that voucher. I think it's pretty bad but I bought it just so it maybe doesn't show up again in the future. I don't even know if that's how it works. At least our run is very easy to pilot, just play flushes. But we're running into a bit of a problem here. Jokers have been hard to come by. I like that it circles it so you remember to look. But suck, huh? Retrigger played face cards? Do we have any triggerable face cards? Lucky. They're lucky. That's about it. I mean, it's good, but... If you dump Mystic Summit, 15 molt... Flush is already at a 20. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what to do. I mean, we got a lot of... Lucky cards, re-triggering them. If they land plus 20, we'd be very happy. Challenge runs count to seed and don't unlock stuff, right? That is correct. Increased level of played poker hand. Eh, if we discard, if we lower our pro poker hand once, whatever. If we can get a four of a kind, that would be better. Could also dump satellite. I think we're getting enough interest right now. And I think I'm just gonna play a flush. Only one face card, huh? I mean, this should be enough score, so I'm not that worried. And we did get the plus 20 molt out of the first lucky card, so that's fine. 
And I guess the, the fight pays for itself. There's a Jupiter. Queen held in hand, green Joker. Voucher is gonna give me a lot of flushes. I'm looking for seals, really. There you go, perfect, finally. <laughs> It took a while, but we finally got a seal worth holding on to. Okay. Now, no, nobody panic. Don't panic. <laughs> if you panic, the game will know. Negative popcorn, my beloved, says Connie. Honestly, I'll take anything. I'll take whatever the game wants to give me. I need the Jokers. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. What are we looking for? What's our run? We would love to see, I think... Sock and Buskin does incentivize something like Oops All Sixes, Bloodlust, Bloodlust. Taking all the hearts and then playing five card hands, which we've been doing. But we do have a bunch of face cards, including one that's steel. We can maybe start duping this guy. Negative Scholar. Negative Ice Cream. I gotta check the packs, though. I mean, come on. Gotta check the pack too, I mean, be a fool not to. Negative ice cream looks tasty. Looks like a uh, banana, banana and blueberry. Marble Joker adds one stone card to the deck when the blind is selected. Stone card to the deck when the blind is selected. We don't want this. Bloodstone. Okay. I don't care about it adding one, I just don't want to keep this forever. <laughs> we still have three of them in our back pocket. Play, 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 play. Now we want to, we definitely want to pivot into hearts. <laughs> so the spades, you're good. Hearts, you're the next hotness. Satellite forever! No, not yet. Greedy Joker diamonds. Faceless Joker discard for money. Okay. That's all. That's all we get. Now, was it that good? Not really, but you know, whatever. <laughs> Emperor or just death me? Well, with Bloodstone, we want to play a lot of cards. So the, the Steel Kings are good, but we don't need a billion of them. We just need like, well, with a 10 card hand, we just need five of them because we're going to play five hearts that all get doubled once we get an Oops All Sixes. Right? Right? So I'm taking this right now for scaling. Death the Queen. <sighs> we should make more hearts, but we, we do have a while in theory. Hold on, I gotta, I wanna sell Marble Joker. Adds a stone card. Okay, so we have ice cream, blue joker, satellite, and constellation. Faceless joker for even more money. Greedy joker giving molts when we play a diamond, which we don't care about. 
but we'll keep it so it doesn't... We'll keep it so that, um... Judgment gets better? No, uh, Hierophant? No, um... The one that gives you money. The tarot card that gives you money. We got Mystic Summit, Sock and Buskin, Retrigger Played Face cards. So we want to retrigger high cards with Bloodstone. We have a Scholar giving us better aces as well as face cards with the Sock and Buskin. Well, not necessarily. So peri Periodolia would be nice. And then our deck could be all aces. Okay. Did I, did I, I sold it, right? Okay, good. <laughs> Temperance. Temperance, thank you. Yeah, I couldn't remember the name of the damn card. So we're still gonna go for spades for a while. Because we have more uh, spades than hearts, but we have more hearts than we started with. We're gonna transition into hearts soon. Steel card. I must use highlight message on my next 4,000 messages, says Diminutive Jerry, how you doing? Hello. What's going on? Ice cream, when it hits zero, it'll be auto-sold, so we don't really gotta worry about that, do we? We also have an open Joker slot, hilariously enough. There's Cavendish. To the moon, though. To the moon, though! It's foil! We don't need money. Take the banana. Gotta check. I'm trying to figure out bootstraps as diminutive Jerry. The Joker? Um, just have a lot of money, forehead. What's our, uh, what's our blind? Dis discard? That's not a problem. Oh, the banana. It's helping. Oh, it's helping. Still haven't discovered that one. Flush or Pluto. We're still gonna go for big old flushes. Even if it doesn't scale as well as other things. We've already scaled it this high. Queen, yeah, I want the queen. Holographic, sorry, Polychrome, the duo. We should buy this card. Um, I will sell. I will sell Mystic Summit at this point for a duo. It's very easy for us to play a pair. So this is a times three. It's equivalent to Cavendish. That's a solid, solid card to get. And because we've been converting things into hearts and spades, we have a lot of two pairs and three pairs. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> we have a lot of pairs and three of a kind. <laughs> That's what I meant to say. I don't have to worry about um, discarding to zero anymore. So I will play. It doesn't have an ace in it, but this will score well enough. <laughs> Three luckies and a pair. Let's see what our hand looks like now. It kept the gold card. We're at a million. Hell yeah. Now is this going to It's madness. Is this gonna go further? I got no idea, but it's looking pretty good so far. Mime. You still want to have a mime. So we're going to sell Blue Joker and re-trigger anything in hand. We're not specifically going into Mime Baron, but if you have anything in hand, um, gold cards, steel cards, blue seals, you still want to have a mine. I did see that, yeah, we got $20 from that last one, too. I know I didn't add it. That's fine. Temperance is $32. Should have used Fool on that one, right? 
adds vouchers? Mmm. All cards debuffed until one Joker sold. That's gonna suck, but we can sell like Greedy Joker and be totally fine with it. I don't care about Greedy Joker. All right, so we, ha we have to start converting. Let's convert. Oh no, you discard it. Well, yeah, so I can get more of these. <laughs> what do you think? Um, you know what? Thank you. Oh my god, so good. So we're gonna get six dollars and two planet cards. I should have used this. That's a six million point hand, by the way. Ice cream can be sold. It's negative. It doesn't matter. Like, ice cream is giving us chips. We're literally never playing a diamond. We can sell Greedy Joker before the ice cream. Now, we might not, admittedly, we might not want to, because if we sell ice cream, it can re it'll can it sell itself automatically and appear again later. If we keep Greedy Joker, it'll never appear. So, true, true. Username welcome. How's it going? It's going very well. This is a very interesting run we've got here. Uh, 11 Jokers, look at that. We have uh, negative satellite and constellation. So we're getting a lot of money out of our planet cards. Yeah, flush score, uh, flush scales pretty slowly, but it's already level 30. Skip. There's our uh, additional vouchers. All cards debuffed until one joker sold. You know what, um, we actually don't have to sell a Joker, but we should. We're gonna sell ice cream. We already have actually a pretty high base chip value, and ice cream's gonna sell itself later. So we'll, we'll do it, I'll do it. Tiny bit strong, I mean, we're definitely gonna win here. We're not at a point where we're gonna win past like anti 11, but we're getting there. Thank you. I should have uh, not used the sun immediately. I should have waited until we drew enough hearts to guarantee the flush. 86. What, what's the what's the the stake value of anti like 12? Is that 300 million or does it, is it further than that? I don't, I don't remember. All cards and packs are 50% off. Playing cards can have enhancements. Reroll once. Go back. Mr. Bones, Mr. Bones, calling Mr. Bones. Five hundred million. For for twelve, originally it's like three hundred million on. Um, that's not a planet. It doesn't scale constellation. Originally it's like three hundred million on anti white, right? Anti red, steak red. I don't. Delicious. <laughs> I prefer a red steak myself. First played face card gives times two molt. When scored, re-trigger played face card. So. Photograph is another scaler that we like. What our what are our jokers? Mime, Sock, Constellation Cavendish Duo. Eh. I think I'll skip for now, but it is good. Cards and packs are free holographic. Discard, 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 discard. Convert into a wild card. Well, give me a minute. Oh, I'm out of discards. I forgot about that. It goes fast, doesn't it?
Negative bloodstone's pretty good. It is, and it is, it and Sock are kind of pushing me towards a play five cards build as opposed to a play high card build, but we just need a little bit more to get there. See, ice cream comes back because we sold it. <laughs> like, we really are playing five cards every time. And we gotta be careful, though, because we're playing flushes, not five of a kinds. So later in the game, if we start duplicating and purging cards, we gotta be careful not to just have five of the same card in our hand every time. Bum, 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 bum. Convert to hearts. I should discard. We should be looking for gold cards and planet cards. That's a mistake. Yeah, that's another reason why flushes are not necessarily that good in the late game because, uh, you know, you're probably not going to be playing those types of flushes. You're probably going to be playing um, four of a kind flushes, three of a, or five of a kind flushes, flush houses. Etc. And those don't count as the same hand type, unfortunately. All spade cards are debuffed. Well, what do you know? We don't have actually a build revolving around spades anymore. I'm, do I really only have two discards? <laughs> it's so few. Uh, I guess we'll gold card our club. Bloodstone is very unreliable right now. We need to get Oops All Sixes, but we'll see. Maybe. Maybe we'll get there. We're never going to find another Joker in the shop at this rate. Square Joker, even Steven. I like how I said we'll never find Jokers. We find all Jokers, including a Judgment. You know what we need? Cheaper rerolls. Create up to two common Jokers. I do see that there's another double, double tag in there, which is kind of tempting. We only get one more discard. There are 22 hearts still drawn, drawable in the deck. We've converted to hearts very quickly. Um, I'm going to heavy discard looking for him. We didn't get him. We don't need this many freaking planet cards, though. Let's see what our high card's like. 20,000. Thank you! There's my hearts. Negative tag is just around the corner. I would love to get, like, five more negatives. The Nor, welcome! You're lurking today? <laughs> yeah, until you come and say, Hey, why are you so bad? <laughs> I, I'm so much better at you than uh, at... Uh, what's the name of the game? Slice and Dice! How's your Slice and Dice runs, Nor? Have you been having good runs? tried to move to Brutal. I'm imagining that didn't go very well, did it? Then I moved from Brutal to Inkbound. You're not the only person I've heard who has been playing that game lately. We have too many cards in our deck. 55 is too much. We should be purging cards at this point. 
but it's a very slow process on this run. That might help. Help by just buffing the cards to a higher level. You know, the more face cards we have, the better we can do. Sock. Bonus planet, multi your money. Actually, High Priestess is pretty good thanks to Constellation. Now, are we gonna duplicate one Joker? No. We will deja vu, though. It's our first opportunity to create a red seal. Driver's license. Retrigger all card held in hand abilities for one times three. Retriggering played is good for bloodstone, retrigger held in hand. I mean, if we have a lot of steel, five steel cards in hand is still worth it more than driver's license, so. All clubs are debuffed. Oh no, not my clubs. And the Norse says, I'm canceling the lurk plans. Pray I don't cancel them further. That's all you, buddy. This is gonna be 12 free dollars. 44,000 point hand. Must have gotten a lot of triggers from the Bloodstone. Still looking, by the way, for an Oops All Sixes. Oh, finally, we have Overstock. Now we just need cheaper rerolls. It's a blue seal, but I think we have enough blue seals in the deck. At a certain point, you just don't need any more. Lucky cards, which we can do here. And then dump, 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 dump. Not my queens! Yeah, but also, look at that. Now we can just make everything hearts. To the extent where I can like discard everything and just, oh shit, why not discard the queen, you moron? Anyways. Now I can't discard it all, you fool. I want one planet card. Nine million. Didn't we have like a 40 million hand on a worse hand earlier? Eternal Egg Gag W. Yeah, sometimes they don't they don't do that good, do they? <laughs> on the generation. Hanged Man's Son. Okay, we can start purging. Converting. And stealing. Keep buffing the deck. Do we actually have so much money? I, I actually, I can't spend it fast enough. This is a good enough score. Like, I, I'm getting more money faster than I can spend it re-rolling, and I just don't want to spend like 30 bucks on re-rolls. You could re-roll more aggressively for jokers. I mean, I'm hoping to get, ideally, the next blind 
after the next boss blind, we'll get a voucher that makes the rerolls cheaper. I, w I will reroll more, I just want them to be cheaper first. Okay, strength card. Strength card. Tower chariot multi. I guess we will steal up a nine. All heart cards are debuffed. Thank you for pointing that out to me. You gotta do it in like all caps. You gotta highlight a message in Twitch chat, otherwise I will fail to recognize it. But since I have recognized it, I will re-roll the boss, because I have director's cut. We can re-roll. Make sure to re-roll. Re-roll. Thank you. Thank you. The hell are you doing here, Ten? Buff incident. I'm just so bad at it. I never remember. Rank suit. We might be okay even if the hearts were debuffed, but it's still just better not to risk it. Thank you. Popcorn, you came back to me! Please. More negatives. All planets and celestial packs are free. They're already super cheap. We don't need them to be free. All right, take it again. Holographic mime, the run is saved. <laughs> Double blueprint mime and baron. Yeah, that was a fun run up until that point. <laughs> Wasn't it? How do, how do 10 jokers have a sell value of 18? So in order to stop players from having too easy of a time, uh, when you get the 50% off, it lowers the value that you get from Temperance. So, really, it should be a 36 value Temperance, but it's not. It's very annoying. Hey, Chris, how are you doing today? What's going on? What the hell is going on with you? What the hell is going on with you? Why did I not discard that? that was stupid. Never picked up on that, says the Nor. Yeah, otherwise these jokers, they would be worth a lot more. That didn't end it! That's fine, we'll just play a high card. I mean, literally one more high card does it, but that is funny. Planet card is gonna give us a high card, but whatever. Nice high card, yeah, 72,000 points. It's entirely Bloodstone and the first flush. That, that's the determining factor of whether or not we win. Swashbuckler would be nice. No, it wouldn't, because it would only be worth 18 molt. That's the problem. The problem is, is that it's useless. Death, Hanged Man. This is a very good set here. The King of Spades is nice, but we're not going spades. We need to convert everything into hearts. So it's like... Just dump them. Like, get them out. Sorry. Nope. Nope. 
first played card used in scoring an additional two times. Now I am I am thinking about this. Not wild the king. Eh, just don't care. <laughs> Honestly, I should. Just at work, waiting and watching. Wait and watch away, Chris. The Norse says, your double bloodstone run from yesterday, yesterday question mark still puts a smile on my face. I don't know if Chris was there for that one, but we almost, I had two blueprint jokers. I had a brainstorm joker. I had the mime, I had the baron. I had oops all sixes, I had bloodstone. Actually, I don't remember if that was if that was the run or not, but what does the invisible joker duplicate? The thing that doesn't do anything. Another oops all sixes. <sighs> what do you do? Oops, I crashed. <laughs> The thing is, is that we're not really building around the steel cards, but re-triggering them is still pretty good value. We really just need oops all sixes. I think we, I think we skip. I think it's hard to make that decision, but I think, I think the mime is a little bit better because we don't have any red seals on anything. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh, hello. <laughs> it was also a fun run, but I meant the one where you had Spectral duplicated the Bloodstone. On the first hand, you hit 88 mil. Every other hand was like two to three Bloodstone procs, and you died on like 8k score. Oh yeah, that one! I played a, a flush with Bloodstone. It tr Bloodstone must have really popped off there. I had like a 800 million score, and then the next time I played a flush, I scored like three million and then died because obviously <laughs> that was a good one that was a good one I like that one definite just F right off their game okay this is actually an absurdly good hand like, I'm discarding just to get like gold. Well, we did. Five face cards, re-triggered, bloodstone, sock and buskin. What's your all-time round in anti? I think I made it to anti 16. That was on a a high card Baron build. But I haven't managed to beat that yet. That's why the reroll voucher is good, says username. Still just building up the flushes. So a polychrome, we have to take it. We have to take it and we have to convert it into a heart. Polychrome is amazing. We want to get hearts that are polychrome. It's going to take forever, but if we can build around that card, we can get so much more value on the run. After player discard, always draw three. It, it's got to be a heart first. That's the only thing. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is... Let's turn a, a five into the queen. And then we can dump them. You can just literally just... I'm out of discards, you. I make that mistake way too often. <laughs> you 
Can you tell a joke? Or I think he just did. Twitch also tells me you're watching without audio, so I don't think you'd get a joke, right? Wouldn't make it through. There's a sun card. We need that. Yeah, I keep forgetting. The uh, hieroglyph and petroglyph. Having two discards is so bad. And we haven't picked up the other voucher for plus one discards. So three consumables actually does help out a lot. It means I can reroll more. There's a stone joker. Okay, let's see what we get. Didn't pull the card we wanted. Hanged man destroys, death converts. Suppose I'd rather convert. We're starting to build, no, 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 no. We're starting to build way more queens, which is good. Way more taros, I should say. like to have made like a five card flush at this point to, to build into but oh well might have to start re-rolling a little bit more I think one problem with this run is that I've added way too much it's very expensive at this point I don't know if we can make 500,000 it's very expensive at this point to re-roll through the shop or sorry, it's very, well, I mean, that's true. It's very hard to get specific cards because we have so much. But a lot of this has been upgraded randomly. Randomly enough. Eight card hand as well. Like, we need better vouchers. Illusion and magic trick is just a gosh darn waste. <laughs> I hate it. Dump, 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 dump. Hey, sell this. We now have that polychrome bonus part. Play, 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 play. We're gonna play our best hand, which is, uh, it's actually this. All right, good luck. Negative bloodstone looks so cursed. <laughs> I love the look of negative satellite dish. That's my favorite one. So out of the ones that we have. Well, we made 900 million. Gotta check. This is about where I thought we would cap out without having major improvements. End is near. Yeah, it's unfortunate. A showman. I have a hard time justifying showman because you have to dump something that's probably keeping your run alive at this point to take it to try to get another copy of something you already have. Okay. Lucky. Just cranking on Constellation, which is currently times nine! Dude, where's my blueprint? Death card is incredible. We're gonna death and then fool. We want to dump, dump. I'm going hard on the discards. And we're into a wild. How do, how do we want to do this? I currently have five cards to play. Do we want to make more steel? We have mime. That's not too bad. We can make more planet cards, but we have kind of a lot of them in the deck. Sorry, not planet cards. Create more tarot. Purple seals. I think we want to make more planets. 
Sorry, I think we want to make more steels. I can talk today. I think we need the score. Could have tried to discard a game, or uh, play a hand and try to discard, but. You want and want and want and want. What are you gonna give, Abe? Asks the Nor. I'm giving my time. Mmm. This is a better hand immediately. Well, I, if, if the Bloodstone doesn't trigger, at least that can. I guess it's a, uh, it's random. You know, will Bloodstone carry us? See, that was a four billion point hand, thanks to Bloodstone. <laughs> it's just completely random. Will it work or won't it? Who knows? If we can get another four billion hand, we can make it past this ante. Trying to just like do whatever I can in the shop right now. Also, I have five tags I'm not doing anything with. 9.6x, looking pretty good. 9.7, 9 9.8, 9 9.9, 9 let's get it to 10. Hanging chat again. Retrigger your first played card used in scoring two additional times. Retrigger two more times. So that's gonna give more opportunities for Bloodstone. Get rid of the mine. We've got a lot of steel though. We've got Chariot in hand. I think, like do we get rid of Cavendish at this point? Get rid of Duo. We have, we have to play a pair for Duo. Cavendish could be destroyed, but. Card reroll for Oops, says Ash and Rand. I mean, I've been re-rolling and re-rolling and re-rolling and it hasn't showed up. Duo's conditional. But it's already polychromed. It's equivalent to a times three. It's equivalent to Cavendish, but it'll stick around forever. I'm gonna take a look. Negative, 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 negative. Constellations of times 10, it stays. Sock. The retrigger works on the bloodstone. The mime retriggers from hand. Like, I'm running the math. We we have eight cards. <laughs> we have eight cards. Three of them are going to be in hand. If we get three steel, that's like a... 3.5x multiplier. Without having more hand size. I think we're I think we need to go ballot hanging chad. I think it's worth more than steel. We have no red seal steals either, is the thing. We're focusing on playing the hand. So I'm taking the ballot for the re-triggers and then we're just gonna, we're just gonna go. Oh! Okay, now, hold up. Now it changes because now we dump, now, now this is weird. We dump Cavendish or the duo. I'm gonna dump. I'm gonna dump the duo to buy the blueprint to dupe Bloodstone. And now, with this combo, I'm thinking more like anti-14, anti-15. I still wanna get Oops All Sixes, that will replace Hanging, that'll replace Cavendish.
And we'll we'll keep scaling constellation for now. Oh, okay. So far so good though. We want to get next brainstorm and invisible joker and oops all sixes. And if we find oops all sixes, I, I will sell everything that I can. I can't afford another reroll. That's fine. Okay, uh, this is not bad. The blueprint is a huge upgrade. I'm trying to think what we want to do. We want to dupe Red Seal King. So I'm going to discard real gosh darn hard to look for it. Didn't get it, but I did get an Ace of Hearts Polychrome. It doesn't get replayed is the problem. So it might not be worth because it's an ace. It's not a face card. It's not going to get re-triggered. It's the problem. But it only gets re-triggered once. We can play it if it's the first card. Something like this. Because it'll get re-triggered multiple times. Sock and Buskin only adds one to the re-trigger. So this goes from... Th this will get triggered four times. This will get re-triggered three times. And it's polychrome, so I think you put this first. So you can play this, and it's gonna be a fine hand. It's a really nice card back. Which one? This one? We don't have anything else that operates on face cards, do we? Discard face cards, yeah, okay. And we want to blueprint Bloodstone, right? Yes. Even over Constellation. Play a Flush House. I don't want to play a Flush House. I want to make sure we win. 20 bucks, who cares? 34 billion. We probably could have done a Flush House and unlocked it. But I mean, our flush is level 38 with a 92 base molt. I just wanted to make sure we got it. We earned $40. <laughs> we earned 40 bucks. Planet cards appear more frequently in the shop. Why not? I see the temperance. What do we got? There's the king. So we're gonna make copies of this now, which is the best thing that we can do. So death. It's not polychrome. That would be a better king, but it's uh, the best king we have. Like, might as well, just do it and then Polychrome Cavendish. Hey, it's better than the duo, right? <laughs> All right. 84 billion, and then immediately it goes into the E11s. I don't know if we can make it that high, but we'll try. We're going to discard heavy. Sun. Dump, 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 dump. Hermit. So flush five, we could unlock it. A four of a kind is 
a like times four compared to the five flush five minus the king. Or we could play a flush without one king, which maintains a steel card, and then we can play like a seven. Keep the steel card in hand. Like this is the best hand we have. Unless we want to discard and try to look for something, but we can play multiple hands. So we'll play the flush. I can't tell how it looks. 57 billion, it's pretty good. Do you play garbage? I think you play garbage. And you try to get a better hand, which happened. Being served a rainbow banana would scare me. Yeah, it would be awesome though. The banana suddenly has more banana per banana. So that's a 9e11 random bloodstone, but still. We really just need, oops, all sixes. Even it hasn't shown up. <laughs> like, come on. But then again, you know, we have cards can appear in your shop. Planet cards appear in the shop. Tarot cards appear in the shop. That's why we're getting all this stuff. Oops, no sixes. There you go. Bonus card, death card, magician card, moon card. Well, makes the deck stronger. We have a lot of those queens in the deck, by the way. So many nopes. Nope a nope. Yeah, okay. Zero dollars. One E11. We just hit nine. We can certainly do a one. Chariot magi Magician Death. We're gonna dump these. We're gonna dump these. We need a really good hand. Wow, I actually got Faceless Joker to pop. That's funny. God dang it. That's fine though. Death. Are we gonna play five kings? I think we are. It's either that or a flush house. I guess we'll go five of a kind. Because of their red seals, it probably will pay out in our favor. 2e12. Okay, we can actually get that planet card now. There it is. Now I wish that it would immediately start appearing. You know what would be nice is this telescope, make it contain the planet card for your last played poker hand. That would be a nice buff. Because your your most played poker hand, well, at this point we want to like switch to flush five, but we're only going to play like six of them at most before we lose anyways. <laughs> we need the oops. We need the oops. That's why I'm constantly looking for it or not finding it. Cards played previously are debuffed. This is probably the end because I don't have enough good cards to win. It's 
it's like we're gonna we're gonna have to discard in order to look for it. Like we're gonna have to dump, 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 and try to find better face cards. We're still playing flush it. Oh, why did I play that there? Hanging Chad didn't work on it. Yeah, garbage hand, garbage hand. Um, we we still got a dump, 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 dump. We still got it. We have to get one good hand. And that pretty much necessitates us having the king that is red sealed. We're, we're not going to make it. And honestly, I probably should have not um, done the this boss. I probably should have re-rolled it. <laughs> Hiccups. But that's fine, you know? We weren't getting much further beyond this anyways. We would not we'd have not, we would have not made it past literally the next round. But it was a fun run. I had a good good time. We actually got pretty close. We got halfway there. It was a solid run, and we got very lucky with some of the cards that we ended up picking up. Would have liked another opportunity for negative 6 jokers. That's okay. Um I should have rerolled, but I also ran out of money before I left the shop. I didn't look. Which is why I would like that information to be on the shop, so you're actually a little bit more aware of what's coming up, because I'm always opening up the run info, switching to the blind tab, looking at what's happening, closing it, and immediately being like, what, what was that that I just read? I would like it to be present in the shop as like a just UI improvement. Um, but it's on me for not looking. The information is given by the game. I just always forget about it when I close the shop window, or when I, I'm in the shop, rather. Fun run! We unlocked the next stake difficulty. Blue stake minus one discard. So imagine that run, but with only one discard instead of two. That's gonna be very annoying, but I love the Anaglyph deck, it's a lot of fun. For now, for those of you on YouTube, thank you very much for watching. Like the video if you've enjoyed it, subscribe for more, check me out on Twitch if you want to go live. Support the channel at the various links below in the video description, and I hope to see you here again for the next run of Bellatro.